shot. My name is uh, Piotr Tarnavski. I am senior system uh, engineer at Salesforce.com. You may or may not heard about me. I'm running blog AngrySysops.com, and I have my YouTube channel at Angry C Admin, Angry Admin. And if you haven't heard about me, now you have. Now there is a two takeaways for you from this session. The one is to like and subscribe to our channels. Yeah, that's first. And the second, um, which is equally important, is this one. Yeah? Snapshots are not backups. Yeah? Can we say together? Snapshots are not backups. Louder? Snapshots are not backups. Yeah. Let's say it so all the apps owners will hear us. Snapshots are not backups. Yeah, very important. But if they are not backups, what are they? Yeah. So snapshots is a point in time copy of the state of virtual machine. It's capture current state, memory, settings, and all the virtual disks. Sounds kind of as a backup, but it's not. And we will get to it why it's not on the later stage. Uh, but now we need to understand snapshots as they are and how they work. So why should we take a backup? There's a various things why, as you see, test and developing, if you want to test new solution, if you want to check the patches, prepare the baseline, configuration change, um, training as well, if you want to take a snapshot and let some training to that machine, we can destroy it and then go back to, um, to the original state. How snapshot works? So once we take a snapshot, there is new disk created, which is the VMDK disk, and the base disk of your virtual machine is read only. Okay, so this is very important. Any changes going to the delta disk. Snapshots are stored in the same uh, directory as the all other virtual machine disks. Now, when I start administrating um, VMware environment, and the first time I saw the option to take a snapshot, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what is include memory. I didn't know what is this option, which we'll talk in a few moments. And I asked my colleagues, what's, the, what, what's this? Why should I check or not? And the answer was, oh, don't worry. The only difference is a machine will be on or off, which is true, but not entirely true, okay? So if we include a virtual memory option, uh, we are capturing the state of VMware machine as it is, including memory, but including as well the processes which are in the RAM and not being written to the drive yet. So it's like, freezing in time, in the very lame terms, if you sleep your Windows uh, machine, it's the same. If you recover, if you reverse from that image, then you get exactly the same state of the machines. So, without, um, so there's a few options to, to consider, because as it, this is very uh, accurate form to capture um, virtual machine state, we have to buy, remember that this operation can take and will take longer and it will, ta it will take more space and it may impact your VM performance. Now, any native English speaker? Anyone? What was that? Like, the first time I saw this, like, what, 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 what's this, yeah? Uh, sorry, I have it here. Uh, Queezing, like, that same for me was like, 
the first time I saw the word Q. Q, where, 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 yeah. <laughs> Quiz. Uh, very nice option. Um, So once we quizzing the system, uh, we are referring to act of momentary freezing machine, okay? So it's like if you want to take a picture of the movie without any blur motion, you just pause it, you take a snapshot. Or if you have a x-ray chest, chest x-ray, the doctor will ask you to hold your breath for a second, two seconds, they take a picture. And that's what's happening during quizzing my files. Uh, this is for consistent snapshot, and this is especially if you have database system or the system which uh, require the file integrity. Um, this reduces risk of data corruption, and the caveat is that it will, as I said, pause your machine, so you will get a downtime during that, during the operation with quizzing. Right. And obviously, it increases complexity. Your snapshot will be, will be larger. Now, here we have a comparison between the include memory and quizzing systems. As you can see, uh, the whole idea of include memory is an option to capture the current VMs, RAM, uh, or memory at specific point in time. Now, there's a, like a quizzing <laughs> is freezing the VM file systems to ensure consistent and unchanged snapshots. Oh, you can take a photo of that um, for your own referencing. Yeah. In essence, the main difference between two options is focus. They include virtual machines memory option, saves a copy of virtual machines RAM, capturing its real time operation state, including ongoing process and operations. So this is what I said, that you can have operation in RAM, yet not being written to drive. On the other hand, the quizzing, the quest system, option is primarily concerned with ensuring a consistent state of the VM file system during the snapshot. But it does not capture content of the VM's RAM. So one is focused on RAM, the other on the files. Now, reverting from a snapshot. So one, you choose to revert from the snapshot, the, the, initial, the initial process of rolling for a current state of the VM. Um, so the first thing you identify uh, which snapshot you want to revert from and the system reads that delta disk and what happened is uh, that the delta is overlay on your um, on your base disk and compare where the difference are now once the reverse process is finished your snapshot is still there. And uh, all other snapshots. So you can do the changes, you can um, check um, all the solutions on the virtual machines, and you can still revert to that snapshot. Now, what's, what are the differences between revert and delete snapshots? So reverting, the VM's virtual disk reverts to the state they were in when the snapshot was taken. If the snapshot includes the VMware memory, 
the VM will also revert to exact operation state, including running processes at the snapshot point in time. The VM will operate as it did at the time of snapshot, any changes made to the VM after the snapshot was taken and before the revision will be lost unless we're captured in the subsequent snapshots. And obviously, the snapshot you retrieve remains in place. So again, it's still on the chain and you can still revert from that snapshot. Now, deleting on the other hand, is a process when you merge your delta disk with your base disk. And in in not going into the technical details, it's over uh, your two disks and it see if the block is changed or not, and then it's been merged. Um, as you can see, the, virtual, the virtualization platform commits the delta from the snapshot delta disk into parent disk. This means that all changes captured in the snapshot are merged and become a parent part of the disk. The snapshot delta disk and associated files are then removed and free of the space. So once you delete a, a snapshot, that snapshot is removed from the chain. The VM continues to operate from its current state. The delete snapshot data is now part of the primary disk. Yeah, the specific snapshot is removed from the snapshot chain, but the VM retains the changes from that snapshot. And this is quite important. When the snapshot is in the middle of the chain, uh, the changes are merged with parent and the snapshots are adjusted to those changes. Okay, now, the best practice. Of course, limit the number of snapshots per VM. So the system allows us to create up to 32 snapshots. However, yesterday on the, there was a session of vSAN and I didn't hear quite quite clearly because there was noise, but they mentioned something, 240 something snapshot in the chain. Uh, uh, yeah, crazy. Guys, don't do it, okay? Don't do it, that is completely wrong and it will mess up your VM performance um, very largely. Um, avoid long-term snapshot. As, you, as a snapshot is a living organism, it's this delta disk which needs to keep all the changes and the base disks which keeping the data to read to. If you have like a many of those snapshots, again, the performance will go down drastically. So, and obviously the space. Uh, the more snapshot, the quicker you run out of the space. If you run out of the space, your VM will go offline and deleting process and removing those snapshots will take ages. So, so regular backups and removing snapshot is the way to go. Um, the VMware recommendation is that VM shouldn't run more than two days on the snapshot. Uh, I am personally allowing seven days to, for the VM to, to run on the snapshot before, it's, before it will be deleted. Uh, we have few very quite IOPS VMs, which the two days is maximum. And regardless what a developer says, after two days, that's gone. So. Uh, now, misconceptions, obviously. Snapshots are not backups, we know that already. Why? This is a good place to, 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 to say why. Because snapshots rely on original disk. If something happens to, to the base disk, snapshot is not good. If you remove VM, the snapshot is gone as well. Uh, and it happens to me that I was playing with new SRM VM, and 
I was doing some testing and I was like deploying VMs and I mix up and I said like, oh, I have too many VMs. I will delete the one which is, which is on my way and I delete the production one. Snapshot wouldn't help. Frankly, I call my storage guys like, um, can I get that restored very quickly, please? Um, that was just a front end, so, the, so, um, so SRM still works, but yeah, but I was quite stressful, yeah? Um, performance implication of too many snapshots. So the people, uh, as you saw in the previous picture, thinks, oh, I can have like a chain of those VMs. No, you can't. That is impacting performance. Uh, that's due to read and write operation from base disk and from the delta disk. And if you have a capture memory disk, that's included as well. And obviously, potential for data loss. So the misconception is that snapshots are safe. They are safe to some extent. However, again, if something happened um, to any of the disks, uh, then your snapshot may not work. If you run out of data, of, uh, of the space on data store, you may be in the problems as well. Um, yeah, so, yeah, very important to remember that one. There you are. This is something which you should take a screen of and send to all your app owners, uh, because I know you all know this, but um, we know how the developers are and, and app owners, um, which they think they are the same, but no. Um, as you can see, storage location, yes? So this snapshot are typically stored in the same location as the VM, while backup, we know it's stored offsite. Um, it could be on the tapes, could be on the other solutions, yes? Uh, performance backups is a minimal to no impact. It could be some impact during the taking backups, but then there's no impact. Backup don't grow. You have just that machine over there, backed up, you can ship it away to storage facility, no problem. With snapshot, uh, the snapshot will grow, yes? Duration, again, long term versus short term. Recovery. Um, and yes, the usage scenarios. So snapshots are short solutions, yes? So before you're applying patches, uh, before new software, uh, baseline, again, testing, yeah? Uh, for the backup, regular intervals, daily, weekly, monthly, and for comprehensive data protection, um, like CCTV footage or um, finances or everything which law required, like 60 days protection or over, you have to, you have to use the backups. Now, uh, snapshot limitations, they are great, but they have some limitation. Uh, <coughs> and as I said, the performance degradation, uh, your VM will slow down. Disk space consumption, uh, it will grow. And uh, I said already about maximum snapshot per, um, per chain. Uh, don't overuse it. Now, PowerCLI, my favorite because we can automate the things, okay? So there's a few simple commands how to use a power CLI with, uh, with the virtual machine. Very easy, get snapshot, new snapshot, and revert snapshot is not revert, it's set VM for some reason, which is like, which is why, <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Make no sense, but it is. <laughs> um, <coughs> again, delete snapshot, and consolidate. Nowadays, you don't need to consolidate disks. Once you remove snapshot, ESXi will consolidate the disk. But there's a few things, few times uh, when you want to consolidate. Uh, one of them, if you have a team provision and you want to recover space. So you can use one of those commands. The difference is consolidate VM you're using on power off machine, consolidate VMD, uh, VM disk can be run on both, power on and power off VM. And this is the, this is the uh, example how to use it. 
Now, we can use, we can manage bulk. Um, it's again, it's simple. Uh, get cluster, get VM, and we put name and the description. Now, <coughs> if you're using like, um, uh, I want to show you something. Yes. So, uh, if you create something like this, get VM name one two three new snapshot. So you create a bulk snapshot and the description. So the snapshot will be created for virtual machine one two three, but all of them will be called my snapshot, and all of them we have the same description. <laughs> if there is a way to, uh, to to go around, we would have to go in um, for loop and just like go iteration through those. But this is just for the. Um, for the purpose of showing uh, you that it can be done. Uh, uh, yeah. So, oh, this is uh, deleting snapshot for a, uh, from data space, data center. But something I want to show you is automating. Again, because we are taking snapshot for our um, different departments, finance, data warehouses, and everything. And I don't remember that I took it. I don't, and no one does. And even um, that's why we want to automate uh, the process of removal. Um, and this is simple one liner which runs on the job server and it's run daily. And what it does is get the VM. The condition is not needed, but you can like, uh, specify which VM you want to have it. And then it's looking for the snapshot. And if the snapshot was more than three days, then it's removing. <coughs> so that, that saves us a lot, a lot of problems. Now, this is something which we are starting using is a GitHub Actions. GitHub Actions is a great solution um, because it allows you for more options, just the run script. So this is the script. Um, this is the case when your dev team wants to take you a snapshot during the weekend time, yeah? Saturday, two o'clock, or Friday, when you're watching F1. It's no sense you'll be online. So what you need to do is to give him, a <coughs> give him access to inventory, to the manifest, they put which VMs they want, and if they commit the change, the GitHub action, because it's set up on commit, will execute the script itself. And if it takes that VM they want to have a snapshot to the server list, I didn't put the whole description because I add description and all few parameters, but it wouldn't fit. And then it's looking for that, um, for that VM and create snapshot for that virtual machine. It saves you a time. Uh, uh, yes, and this is the brilliant solution. And it's just an example, but um, GitHub Actions, we actually automize the whole patching through the GitHub Actions for ESXi. So this is brilliant stuff. Um, yeah, so this was a very, very short presentation. We didn't go into technical deep, um, uh, deep, but if you want, I have a, I'm, I'm actually creating the, the video series on my YouTube channel about how exactly that works under the hood. So if you want, take a snapshot, stay connected. If you follow me, I will follow you back and we can chat and discuss further. I am very open-minded. Um, and thank you for being here. Uh, and enjoy your rest of your conference. Thank you. <laughs>